And we are rolling. Go ahead. All right. So this is the Wayfinding Signage Project. Uh, this presentation was done by me and Briani. Uh, and we are part of Group C on the Wayfinding Project. This is just a short uh, table of contents, basically describing what uh, the slides or the current uh, state of the slides are about. Um, we have an introduction, tasks, solutions, and a conclusion. Number three and number four are not completed yet due to not having uh, basically the, uh, how would you say? Basically, we're, we're not done with budgeting yet. Uh, so the slides are yet to be completed, but I am presenting what we have done right now. So the sh introduction for the introduction, uh, the Wayfinding Signage Project is in short a project dedicated to helping people, be it tourists or locals, navigating the areas of St. George, Tompkinsville, and Stapleton. So the general problem in the area is that it is very unfriendly to visitors. Um, there's no signage in the neighborhoods that leads people further down into the cities that allows them to explore the area. And that's a big problem because uh, with this situation, businesses are hurting and there is not a lot of competition or economic growth in the area due to not a lot of tourists being able to find the areas that they want to go to and not discovering new places and businesses that could potentially be, you know, like, uh, nice to go to. Um, yeah. All right. So the tasks, uh, right now are to modify the ferry terminal signage, modify ferry terminal promenade markers, uh, include, uh, Staten Island railroad, uh, station signage, make a branded district-wide uh, signage, promote downtown branding, and increase competitiveness. So this all comes together in a way that helps the entire neighborhoods of uh, St. George, Humpkinsville, and uh, the entire area, basically. Um, this would help uh, promote local businesses and increase tourism in the area, generally. So as it stands right now, here we put up a couple pictures. On the right side, you can see that the entire promenade of the terminal uh, is just a huge concrete like wall. It's just a huge concrete structure. It is not friendly when you first come out of the when you first come out of the ferry you basically hit a huge concrete wall and it's not, it doesn't lead you anywhere. Of course, to people that already live there, it, they know where to go, but to new people, newcomers coming to the area and trying to discover this new place, it's very difficult to traverse the area and to find new places to go to. So this is the problem that we're trying to solve currently. These places that I also put these pictures are a uh, part of the area. The middle picture on the top is a park near the ferry terminal, as well as the Staten Island Railroad on the bottom. And here are some pictures of the neighborhood as well. So what can we do? As we can see, the Wayfinding Signage Project is vital to the community of downtown Staten Island. There are very few signs that indicate where things are or even the names of streets. So the real question is, what can we do? Well, for one, we can increase the number of signs in the area to keep people on a straight, consistent path. From there, making signs more visible and easy to understand for pedestrians is second nature. Finally, we need to create a cohesive theme for the downtown area, taking advantage of their logo and the brand already present. So what we want to do is basically elaborate on what Staten Island has already included, their brand of logos, which are the, they're like, um, they're signs with the boxed words around, 
I did not include a picture, but you can find them on the uh, website on Staten Island, the Staten Island website. So what we want to do is basically elaborate on those and include more pictures that can help people um, discover the area and also lead people to new businesses so they can explore the area and just increase tourism. Here we have the potential solutions. I know it's a little bit of writing and I'm not gonna read all of them because we'd be sitting here for a very long time. I'm only gonna shorten them down. So modifying the ferry terminal signage, we want to do similar, something similar to the JFK airport as Briani wrote. Something very simple yet very effective, I think would be the best idea for these neighborhoods it'll help people try to discover new places as well as also promoting them to like just explore on their own modifying ferry terminal promenade markers uh we would add more markers to the promenade as when you get off the ferry and onto the promenade there are no like directing signs that can help uh, new tourists discover uh, downtown. So we want to modify and expand those markers to help people uh, get into the city more. Also including Staten Island Railroad station signage would be a great benefit to the area, which would help not only uh, the surrounding neighborhoods, but also help people find where they need to go. Branded district-wide signage, as I talked before, we would elaborate on the current signs that are there made by uh, the Staten Island government and elaborate on them, helping them you know, become a co cohesive brand. Promoting downtown branding, we would try to include as many signs as possible helping it feel like the signs are there, like they're meant to be. Um, basically just trying to promote the branding and making it seem like a, just a re real solid like uh, brand, something that people can, something that's memorable, something that can help people remember what the downtown of North Staten Island looks like and feels like, as well as increasing competitiveness. Like I said before, this would also help uh, the economy and the surrounding neighborhoods. More tourism means more uh, money for the businesses, which means that um, the neighborhoods would have to compete more, trying to come up with new ideas to hook people into coming to their uh, businesses. And that's all we have for now. Budgeting concepts and final ideas will be coming soon. Thank you for allowing me to present today. Um, let's hear for some students, some students who have done the presentations already and um, have experienced feedback. So anyone to go? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Matthew, if you can bring up the presentation so we can use it as a way to uh, uh, follow up with the discussion. Thank you. Um, good job on not having to go into literally every detail that's in the presentation, uh, keeping it as concise as possible for the integrity of the presentation. Really good. Thank you. Um, I would also like to say well done with the presentation you made. You added a lot of information in, which for some might not be as great, but the way you but the way you explain that information, you made sure it, it didn't branch off a lot, and you made it stick to a particular point. So that's one thing I really I really like about your presentation. You had a lot of you had a lot of pictures, which also which you also used to help explain and help others visualize exactly what you were talking about. Because for me, I've never been to that area. I 
tend not to leave Brooklyn a lot. The most I go is Manhattan, to be completely honest. So with those pictures, I was able to get an idea of exactly what the place looks like and why why the signage is necessary. But I would also like to say, and this is me, be, maybe just me being a bit nitpicky. Um, when you were saying not so friendly, um, I w- the word I was thinking of might be... Um, Open might not be um it might not be so open to foreigners, so that's just something I was thinking about. But other than that, you did a really good job with it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the recommendation. Honestly, I did not rehearse this at all, so this was my first time uh, actually presenting. So I was kind of nervous, and uh, but thank you. You're welcome. And plus, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> So, can I go? Kevin, yeah. So, something I liked about the presentation is the fact that you were able to show your mastery and your knowledge of the of the uh, the project, and also um, how you were able to explain everything a little detail. And I really like that because it shows that you're really intrigued and you're really doing the project. And something like you gotta work on, like how Len uh, Len said, is uh, practicing the the presentation before um, presenting. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you. I think you said goodbye. Uh, is that all? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Darley, if you don't mind, um, maybe voicing out your comment, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, I haven't presented anything, but um, you summed everything up and made it clear. It was easy to follow and understand. I I actually like the presentation. I'm not a part of the project, but I liked it. Um, you explained everything thoroughly, thoroughly without looking at the slide. And it shows that you have knowledge about this project and that you really understand the project. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, uh, Gilbert. The slide that's up now, I think you should move mm-hmm. it before the test. That way it can, it can like flow smoother. That way you have like the before images, the task, the solutions, and then like renders for after. All right, thanks. All right, Matthew, if you don't mind, um, we can perhaps go to this, maybe your second slide. Uh, which slide? Uh, your second one? After, I guess after the intro. Oh, well, I guess the table content is the third, is the second one, so maybe your third one. Where you can, uh, uh, this one? Yep. All right, so I, I do want to say, Matthew, and I know that Briani was part of this as well. I mean, I think that this is a, a, a very nice, well-put um, presentation, all right? Um, just a couple of things when it comes to the introduction, you know, just for the audience, um, in, in order for them to sort of follow along, try to create bulleted items, you know, um, okay. instead of paragraph. Mm-hmm. I understand that you're just giving a, a, a brief description. Yeah. Of it. All right. Uh, and then you can go to your next slide. Okay. So this is, this is actually, I think this was very successful. One thing that you can do next time is, you know, instead of having those little icons there, perhaps you can um, indicate what does the ferry terminal look like, you know? Um, we want to okay. know where that ferry terminal is, and also that ferry terminal has a name, right, I believe. It's, it's called St. George Ferry Terminal, correct? Right, yeah. Um, Heather, is that is that correct? Yeah, okay. it's St. George Ferry Terminal. On the other side is uh, the Whitehall Ferry Terminal. So that's how you know if you're in the New York side or the Staten Island okay. side. Perfect. So even before you get to this task, um, Matthew and Briani, you guys want to, again, they, I, this is, I've said this too, for all the other presentations moving forward, we want to show the overall location of what the, of the area that you're working on, right? Or the scope. Yeah. Okay, so you want to show a map. And you want to indicate on that map your area that you're beautifying or 
your it's part of your scope pretty much okay, so okay. Your, all right showing the a map and a boundary we'll get into that that's probably one of the those are one of the next sort of topics that we're going to be covering right um and this is great again you can you can add images that sort of support each item right mm -hmm. we can move on to the next slide okay here we may want to label some of these, right, and indicate where the where is it where these images taken from, from what location. Perhaps yeah. you, can, you can accompany it again with another map that showcases. Maybe you can put a little letter or a number, right, that indicates where are these images taken from. All right, so like that, people know exactly where where these where where these images taken from, pretty much. Right. Um, okay. Okay. Next. All right, very similar to your introduction um, slide, right? right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so it's easier for everyone to sort of follow through. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we can go to the next one. Potential solutions. I think that this was a very successful slide. I know it's text heavy, and you also mentioned it yourself in your presentation. You know, right. again, back to bulleted items. You know, you don't really need, um, you know, full text there. Right. But I think that this is also a very successful um, slide because you're you're sort of you know indicating the potential solutions that you're then going to visualize. Correct. Right? right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and in your visualization, going back to now the the your proposal, right? Um, you may want to write this down. Um, and is that you want to look into examples of signs, right? Um, mm -hmm. add or maps, right? The visualization of maps because maps are, maps are going to become a very important thing. And I know that we can we can have those on the website and all of that stuff. But when we're when we're working with wayfinding and branding, right? We have to um, pretty much design a map for San, for, right. San, for downtown San Island, right? You want to indicate landmarks of the area, right? Mm -hmm. you want to think about the font styles that you're going to use in your design, the written information. Okay, how are you going to organize that information, right? Next thing, we want to think about other um, sort of aids for people with disabilities, right? You, we're, we'll talk more about this as we get into this. Probably we're going to talk more about universal design, right? So universal design really focuses on, you know, making sure that there's inclusivity, um, and there's accessibility right. from, for people with, you know, with people with impaired uh, hearing, right, or blind. Right. Mm -hmm. so, these things very important and this is something from the stakeholder as well okay? yeah that's uh, exactly what me and Brianna were discussing yesterday how can we make like universal science that like are effective but also can be understood by a wide variety like a wide demographic of uh, visitors exactly exactly so we're looking into languages right different languages mm -hmm. um and also you know um you know, uh, uh, what is it? What's that? What do you call when when you're reading? You're blind, but you're reading. Is it Grail? Um, does anyone know? Grail. Grail. Grail? Yeah, I believe so. Grail. Grail. Yeah. Thank you, Leon. Exactly. So the things you guys really want to consider. Um, also, the audio part. You may have to. You may, you may need some audio. Um, so some of your installations, um, maybe your information desk or information kiosks, will have. Yeah. Sort of, um, you know, audio included into. Um, you want to have. I don't know if you can use QR codes and stuff like that integrated into your signage, so like that people can use their phones to have additional information of downtown Staten Island. Okay. Yep. yep. Um, the last thing, another one in your topic is pictograms. All right. So those are the icons, the the universal symbols for. You know, moving, you know, going straight, going left, or, or you know, you, you, you know, you know what I mean, by that, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where's yeah. it? You know, what's handicapped, what's not, and whatnot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And another one, last thing, is that I think that as part of this project, and maybe Heather, you, you may want to uh, either agree or maybe comment on this, is that this project can tie in very well with the design of Tom. Tompkinsville um, waterfront, you know, sort of redesign as well as the Richmond Esplanade, right? So all, we can integrate those three projects into one. So as you're designing the wayfinding, you're also integrating that into the other projects as well because it's all it's all part of downtown Sinai. All right. Uh, um, oh, sorry, Heather. No, I'm just gonna uh, agree with you, but I'll. 
but yeah, I guess, I guess that's for me. I know I spoke a lot, uh, Matthew, but that's how mm -hmm. that's how rich your presentation was. That I had a lot. To All say. right. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll continue to work on that. And you know, these comments that I gave are very similar to the ones I've been giving to the other teams in a way. All right. But I'm glad we got this project going. Um, so I'll pass it over All to right. you, Professor and Miss Heather Budzer Kodia. Your comments were uh, very valuable. Thank you. Uh, very well. Heather, you want to go? Or? Yeah, I mean, I'm off mute, so <laughs> that's winning. Uh, yeah, I found your presentation to be really, really interesting. Um, can you go back to the slide that had all the pictures on it? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. So, the first picture is Bay Street. The second one is a park you mentioned. The third one is an overview of the ferry. The fourth one is actually like sort of da downtown East Staten Island. The fifth is the, the mm -hmm. state sounds about, and then the sixth sign is actually when you first come out of the ferry terminal and what you yeah. see. Confusion. Mm -hmm. All right. The reason why I just went through that like that is because if you're looking at it, you wouldn't you wouldn't know where these things are. You might not realize how far away they are. Like the the, the first picture is actually very far away from the third picture. Um, okay. The last sixth picture is a smaller version of the third picture. Um, mm -hmm. it, you can actually see the sixth picture within that crazy looking. Port Authority maze looking thing. You can see, yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Um, the reason why I'm saying that to you is because I I love the thought about this picture, which is basically like, you know, you come out of the ferry and there, there's, there's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I think if there were a way for you to almost walk people through the experience of like coming out of the ferry, like you, you get at Staten Island, you get there. And oh, then, okay. and I don't know if you've ever been to the Staten Island Ferry. Um, it's crazy. Actually, yeah. I've been to Staten Island like 500 times, okay? I'm in Staten Island like <laughs> four times a week. I'm there all the time. I kid you not, and I'm not, okay, I'm not the brightest bulb in the world, but I'm <laughs> not dumb either. I'm somewhere in between, you know, my middle of the boat, okay? I kid you not, when I come out of the ferry, I legit have no idea where anything is. And I've been there hundreds of times. I'm always like, where is the Uber station? Where, where, where is the terminal for the, and when you come out, there's these four, these five like dots. Um, it's kind of that third picture. You can kind of see it there. But when you come out, there's five of these things that look like the sixth picture, but you don't know until so there's buses, mm -hmm. and all of them, but you have no idea like, where is my bus? Like, I, I miss the bus more often than not, the S44 bus, because I just don't know, is it in total oh. B, D, E, X? I have no idea, right? So you right. said, oh, well, you know, for people who live there, they'll know what's going on. But, like, if you're a visitor, you're clueless. I'm clueless, and I practically live in Staten Island. So I think <laughs> if you... <laughs> Um, I think if you could somehow capture what it's like when you first get into the terminal, like I arrive, I'm looking around, there's like a subway shop, there's an ice cream place, there's terminals, right. there's people, the subway's below. You know, if you want to have a good conversation about this, you should talk with um, your principal, Principal Cornell. You know, he lives on Staten Island. He and I talk about it all the time, about when you first get into this, this and he lives there. And he's like, I don't know where I'm going. Um, he can give <laughs> that to you. So I think if you could somehow capture that and okay. also walk people through, like the first picture is you first get there. That would kind of be like, your third picture. The second picture, now you're like in one of these terminals. That's your last picture. Then you're like walking away. That's like you're saying, you know, like you walk people through how crazy it is. Um, okay. The reason why this project is so important is because there's a lot of cool stuff on Staten Island, um, but there's no way to know where it is. There's a restaurant right. I'm going to called Beso. It's like this cool, like, Latino restaurant that's up the hill from the station. You would never know it's there. You'd never, you would never know. There's no signs. There's no mm -hmm. nothing. So business owners lose out a lot. Um, the last thing I will say, the last reason why this is an 
critically important project because as um, Mr. Audrey just alluded to, it clicks into every single other project. So goes the ferry terminal, so goes your entire experience on Staten Island. What bus you get on, how you know where to go where, how you know if you can walk somewhere, if you need to take an Uber there, if you need to take a train there. Um, I've never actually even been on a Staten Island train because I've never been able to figure it out. It's probably quicker for me to take a train, but I usually because right. I I it's too much for me. It's it's too confusing. Mm-hmm. So being able to like understand how critically your project ties in with every other project, including mine. One of my my projects is the Help for Youth Garden, and if people knew, you know, there's a bus, the S42 bus. The last stop is my garden. People have no idea. But if they, if there may be like a cute little sign that said, want to go to the Health for Youth Community Garden, take the S42 bus to the last stop. That would be actually really cool. Um, so, you know, I think your project is sort of like the unsung hero of all of these Staten Island projects because all of the other projects will probably be on the signage in some form or fashion. Um, and so how successful your project is, is going to be the difference between people actually going to visit Snug Harbor's kiosk and people having no clue where it is. So um, I commend you. I think you did a great job. I think the visual of walking people through what it's like when you first enter that terminal, which is super chaotic and super crazy. Mm-hmm. I think seeing that would be, um, you know, it would be, it would, even for people who are on Staten Island and they know how crazy it is, it's like, yeah, it is crazy. Like, you're right. This is why we need this. Like, we, we really need to fix this problem. So, a great job. Um, and I think, you know, that will go a long way to sort of help, help, help the school room for people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really like that idea. And uh, I'll try my best to implement it. Okay, I mean, it's not, you know, other people probably have different ideas or so forth, but I know for me, as somebody who definitely, um, you know, enjoys the story uh, and the visual of like A to B to C to D, um, and, and why this is such a, why is this such a, why is this such a big deal? Um, it's a big deal to people who are native Staten Islanders. Anybody on Staten Island who lives there is going to tell you the terminal is a mess. It's a mess. It needs to be fixed. And one more thing, they actually recently built something called Empire Outlets, which is this massive mall that's right next to the ferry terminal. But it's like, can you imagine the humongous mall? Like, I don't know if you've ever been to, um, like, a uh, that mall upstate, I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Um, um, I've actually, sorry, I've actually been to Empire Outlets. Oh, that's, that's, so you've been to the ferry terminal? Yeah, I have. Okay, so you know, so you know like that the mall is right there, and yet, even when you, when you come out of the terminal, I, right. I, I'm like, wait a minute, how do I get into the mall? Like, it's not, exactly. it's like, do I have to walk outside of the terminal? Like, right. right mega massive mall to the next terminal and I can't figure out how to actually get into the mall. That's right. It's, you know? it's, so, it's like a mess of like, it's just stairs and like concrete walkways. Yeah, but there's no signs to tell you there's a massive exactly. mall right next to you. Go go to it right there. Like, to, to, go, make a right. You you have no clue. So, <laughs> but if that doesn't tell you how messed up it is, I don't know what will. So, um, yeah. You know, that's just another sign of how it needs a lot of help. And uh, it seems like you and your team are the people to do it. So great job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so once again, Matthew, um, we pretty much been saying, first of all, good job in terms of getting the information. Keep the uh, in the chair. I'm going to take over real quick. Just to guide you a little further with Heather and my legal proceeding, one of the key things is don't be afraid to separate the energy into different slides. Because you've given us, a, you're taking us on a journey from beginning to end, from the beginning of the site to the end of the project, uh, the site project that you're going to work on for the So briefly, I just want to showcase something to you. Just let me know when you're this here. Uh, can you say that again? Can you see my screen? Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I can. 
Okay, awesome. So what we've been saying before, so generally you want to have like an overall map. We said that to other students as well when they were doing this project. So if you go on Google Maps, I took a, uh, I typed in Staten Island Ferry, and I was able to find the entrance. So what you're going to do, and that, you don't have to do it exactly what I, uh, I'm showcasing to you, but you want to have like the general map of the site, like from the beginning to the, of the ferry to the end mm -hmm. where the project ends. Okay? And then you have like like those things that you show, find specifically where they're located. Right. And you actually make a place them. So they can label them this location is there. So all the projects that your stakeholder, which I'm going to talk to you about talking to your, you know, your stakeholder and find out which stores are we going to actually put signage in front of and especially what type of signage that we are required to do and what we are not required to do. So those are things I'm going to talk about briefly. But to go back to this, so if we start off by the sound line effect, we're going to have a, a zoom in image. And on that slide we have, you don't have to have six images. You can just have like two images showcasing two of the areas around here. And you could actually put the person there. Like I saw you did in one of the images. And you drop the person. And you're able to see the ferry. As soon as you come right. up, this is what you see. And you also have the map showcasing that to the left of it. So people get an idea of you traveling to the space. And then... Next to the slide, on the same slide, you might have another image further down. At the end of the block of the Staten Island Ferry, the, you can see that there's still no actual um, um, signage to the place. And then you can indicate that on the map as well. And you label the, actually the street sign, the, um, the intersection, and you go through the travel of the space. So they know that what they're talking about and they're not confused. So they have a sense of, first, the visual, second, the issue, and third, and what you're trying to accomplish. And they could be mm -hmm. both with you, okay? Mm -hmm. And last but not least, because they already said pretty much everything, um, even though your stakeholders, in terms of, they, they mentioned in the meeting what type of signage you needed. So I want you to email the stakeholder and ask her, what type of signage and what are the colors that we would like specifically for the the area? Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's you and Brianna. But other than that, good job. Thank you. I'm not going to say much because everyone else said, echoed what I was thinking. Um, yeah, just Matthew, you you went to Staten Island, right? You toured the area. Yeah, it was it was pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, but but in that first that introduction slide, I thought you were about to tell the story of when you got off the ferry and the difficulty you had in terms of as you put it, traversing the area. Traverse, I mean, you're throwing out words such as traverse, excellent, thank you. As an English teacher, oh my God. But, um, you know, you're you're very well spoken, articulate, you just, as Codio mentioned, um, story, story, your narrative, right? You've, you made, you did the difficult work of getting to Staten Island and touring the area. Show that off right. and tell that story about the difficulty you had in finding your way. And that's why this wayfinding project exists, right? Okay. Um, yeah, the pictures. I, I wrote pictures with captions, but I think Heather's suggestion is, is um, better. Um, I love the fact that – can you – forget about showing the slides. The, there's that last slide, solution slide. You, you talked about how – the one of the signage uh, ideas was based on what they did at JFK, correct? Oh right, yep. Right, I mean that just right. shows that just shows tremendous due diligence. You're doing the research, and that's I mean I have full confidence. I'm so excited to hear the feedback from Ms. Butts, from Mr. Rodriguez, from Mr. Codio. 
Um, because I know, and, and the students, students, you did an excellent job with the feedback, but I know I'm excited because I know that you and Briani are going to turn this around and execute it. You are absorbing all this information and I can't wait to see the next stage of this project. So awesome work. You did mention something about a logo and you said, well, you can go to a website and find that logo as an audience member. I would like that logo to be in the presentation, right. like it's a Staten Island logo. The stakeholders right. are people from Staten Island. They don't want to go on the website and search for their own logo. Have the logo featured somewhere, you know, space right. permitting. But um, yeah, tre tremendous job putting this together in like four hours, according to what Briani just told me. So good work. Well, you know, I wanted to add to what you were saying that, you know, the team can definitely have a client uh, slide as well where they show you know they pretty much show who are the stakeholders and, and their logo and everything like that towards the beginning um, as part of their introduction. So. Oh and, and right. I didn't realize you'd actually gone to Staten Island until I didn't that didn't <coughs> maybe you said it during the presentation <laughs> and I just it like blew over my like I just didn't quite here you probably did say it, and i was like oh, wow. no no I, did, I didn't say it but yeah i did go to it i did okay. um yeah let me tell you something if i had actually taken a whole trip to like staten island as part of my class to do a presentation i would be like sky writing in my presentation i mean like i mean like slides one through nine me self i mean you guys take selfies of everything right i'd have a selfie of me in front of the subway a selfie of me walking down the street a selfie of me it'd be selfies all day long so i mean if you're gonna do all that work you need to like scream to the rooftops if that's what you did and then you're then you know the advice i gave you is easy peasy because You've right. already done it. You've walked it. You've experienced. Like, did you think it was really rough to figure out where you were? Yeah, it was. It were. It was like the moment I got out of the the ferry terminal. Like, it feels like you're getting off an airport, but then it's just yeah. like you wall, and it's just like <laughs> you you either you either go to the right side and it's the yeah. um uh the malls, or you go to the left side and you hit the promenade. Yeah. Right. But see, to me, that's super, I mean, and maybe everybody's not going to be compelled by the fact that you've actually experienced that and you went there, but that's compelling to me. Um, you know, I'm somebody who would find it extremely compelling that you actually have walked this, that it's not a thought exercise for you or some pictures that you've just seen on the internet, that you actually did this, you, you've experienced it, you know what you're talking about as a visitor. Mm -hmm. I would highlight that in my presentation. I've done this, people. Like I, I know. I get it. I walked it. I couldn't figure things out. I got lost. I didn't know where Empire Outlets were. So I would I would absolutely highlight that as, because um, when I saw your presentation, I figured, oh, wow, well, it'd be great when he can finally get there to go, and then he'll see what I'm talking about. I would have cut yeah. half of what I said out of there. <laughs> I'd be like, you know what I'm saying. So, um, <laughs> Highlight that. Let people know. I no no no. Okay. I got, I know. I I I've seen the problem. I tried to get to the Gap store in the outlet and couldn't get there. So right. um, you know, I would highlight that. Be that's you kind of bury the lead. That would be the that would I be I would like. I don't know, I did this. I was there. I know. I would definitely right. focus on that. Okay. Yep. And by the way, Staten Island is always talking about how they're forgotten borough, which they totally are. They'll appreciate. Mm -hmm. it the time out of your life to actually visit their borough in the middle of COVID. They, they, right. they, they, they might be, tears might be shed. <laughs> Tissues will come out. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good, it was a good weekend. Uh, it was a good weekend trip. Great. Let them know. Yeah. They'll, they'll appreciate right. it. They'll appreciate it. So great. To, and now, I, great job. That's fabulous. Well done. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Matthew, you took pictures of when you, when you went on your journey, right? Yeah, I took some pictures, yep. Okay. And are those the ones included in your presentation? Uh, no, but I do have them saved. Uh, All right. So we, that, we revise, when we revise the... Huh? Excuse it's me? Something you want to consider to include in your presentation. Yeah. Okay, yeah. When we revise the presentation, I'll definitely uh, include them. Sounds good. I also have under the Google Classroom... Um, under that belief finding and branding project, I do have images that um, Mr. Cody and I took when we were there as well. Uh, we did a site visit a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month or two. 
but uh, you can use those. Feel free to browse through those as well. There's a Google Drive attached to that uh, project. Oh, um, about the Google Drive, I'm not able to access it. Oh, okay. Let me, let me just make sure you guys have access to it now. Sorry about right. that. No problem.